Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Garrison with our pets are wonderful friends, and they help us in so many ways. But we need to take some smart precautions when caring for our pet friends and when visiting petting zoos. You may remember this last spring, over 20 children became ill after visiting a petting zoo in Central Florida from E. coli exposure. Good sanitation and proper regulations keep such occurrences rare. However, there is another disease that all dog owners and outdoor enthusiasts should be aware of leptospirosis. This bacterial disease affects humans and their pet friends and causes a wide range of symptoms including flu-like illness and even kidney damage. Leptospirosis is usually caused by exposure to water where pets or wildlife have been. We have seen several cases of lepto in our hospital. Most of them do get better with aggressive antibiotic therapy especially if we treat them early enough. And I can also say that all of the cases we've seen have not been vaccinated. This bacteria enters the body through the mouth or even the skin and can cause rather serious kidney disease within a few days to a few weeks. The incidence of leptospirosis is on the rise with urban children and people who work outdoors or with animals. It's also being seen more frequently in our family dogs. Prevention is the key. And for that, we have a very effective vaccination. Dr. Jasek recommends all dogs at risk be vaccinated for lepto at the time they get their regular booster shots. Remember, dogs age seven years for every one human year. So veterinarians now recommend having your pet examined at least twice a year. Dogs do age faster than people, so waiting a full year to see your veterinarian would be like you seeing your physician every seven years, and that's not smart. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.